Hello again, welcome back to Legally Cited. This is BGFH, and I am back for another PC accessible game spotlight video. Yep, another accessible game coming this time. Actually, it is a series of accessible games. Um, I haven't, I played a lot of these, or at least a few of these in the past, uh, over several years. But uh, within the last, was it, week or two as I'm recording this, unfortunately we lost a uh, pretty well-known member of the blind community, Jim Kitchen. Um, you may have heard his name. You may have played his, uh, some of his accessible games if you do look for uh, some PC accessible games. Um, he started out, I believe, in like the mid-90s, starting to make accessible games for blind and low vision users for the PC, and they used like text-to-speech and stuff like that. Um, God, I remember playing quite a few of his, actually. Um, there's one um, that I remember playing, I think they call it Trucker now, but I think it used to be called Big Rigs. And I remember playing, that was one of the first accessible games that I remember playing on a computer. I mean, this, I, was, I remember I was actually, uh, I had went to this school for the blind for a brief period of time uh, for some different training uh, when I was growing up um, for, I think this was one of those where I was there a week for a week or so. And we had this really old computer, I mean, like one of the first laptops. I mean, this is like monochrome laptops and... Um, you know, just a really old thing, you know, back in the ProCom days, basically, for those of you who remember those days. But um, I remember playing this Big Rigs game, and I was just fascinated, you know. It was just like, cool, the computer's talking to me, and I can, you know, I mean, I was young at that age, you know. I was probably, I don't know, 10, 12 years old or something like that. I don't even remember, but... That was my first experience, and then quite a few years back, I remember playing quite a few of these, just uh, looking at them. So there's Jim Kitchen. He unfortunately passed away a couple of weeks ago. Um, thankfully, another member of the blindness community um, put all of his games together, um, and there's, God, what is there, like over 30 or 40 of these things um, over the years? And they're in a package called the Kitchen Sink, or Kitchen Sink. Um, kind of a joke on, like, you know, oh, you know, everything but the Kitchen Sink. Or I, I don't remember exactly how it came about, but um, that was kind of his website. And he made a whole bunch of, and these are freely available. The, he made tons of games for the computer. So enough babbling. Let's uh, get in, and I'm not going to go through all of them because we would be here forever but I just want to go through, show you the interface a little bit, and maybe show off a couple of games in the in uh, the kitchen sink. So I'm going to go to my desktop here. I don't have a screen reader running because these are self-voiced. I have the games installed, and I'm just going to type K-I-T. Welcome to Kitchen Sink Games. Use the up and down arrow keys or press the first letter of the game. Then press enter to play that game. Exit. All right, so we land in the menu. I'm using my Eloquence uh, TTS voice for Windows. Uh, this is really coming in handy because there are so many, uh, you know, these uh, accessible games and stuff like that that I'll be able to use the synthesizer with. So let's arrow down and let's just go through and I'll show you how many crazy games are here. Awesome. Awesome. I don't know what that is. Baseball. There was a baseball game, and these are, um, a lot of these are like text-based, so like you're kind of making the decisions, or almost like, from what I remember, some of these are like, man you know, manager game, you know, games, where you can choose how what you're going to do. Um, some of them are more interactive. I know, the, I never really played much of it, but I know, every, like, there's a lot of people that were huge into the golf one that's coming up here. Batting. There's a batting one. Battleship. Battleship. I played that one before, way back in the day. Rail. Braille, I think this is a Braille tutor, so it kind of helps you learn Braille. Brain. Brain, I don't know what that is. Casino. Casino, so there's your, you know, a couple, you get a few casino games and stuff in there. Concentration. Concentration. Coupling. I have no idea what that is. Dungeon. Dungeon. Uh, like, like I said, there's a lot in here that I don't know, but I just, I do remember playing a few of these. Football. 
football. I remember playing this a little bit. Um, this was again where like you choose a running play, a pass play. You know, seeing as how we are, uh, I. Uh, the day I'm recording this, we're going to be getting a Vikings preseason game here in a few hours, so maybe we'll jump into football and see if I remember how in the heck to play that game. Golf. Golf, again, there's the really popular one that I know a lot of people loved. Golf course maker. And you could actually make your own golf courses. I never played with that. Guns. Guns, I have no idea. Hangman. Hangman, I played that before. That was kind of cool. Homer. Homer, this was Homer on a Harley. And some of these do, you know, some of these are... You know, they have sound effects. Some of them really don't. You know, some of them are per, you know, driven by speech. And some of them are more, you know, kind of arcade -y. Ladders. I'm guessing that's maybe like a shoots and ladders sort of thing? I don't know. Life. The Game of Life. I remember playing that back in the day. That was kind of interesting. So, you have a few board games here. Uh, you have the casino games. you got Life. There's... Mach 1 ETS. Okay, Mach 1. That was another racing game. I vaguely remember playing that, but I don't remember it too well. Mastermind. Mastermind. Monopoly. Monopoly. I remember playing this back in the day. I think I actually beat it too. Monopoly board maker. <laughs> Monopoly board maker. So you could make your custom sets. You know all the, you know dozens of Monopoly boards that are out there. You could kind of create your own. Pizza. I have no idea what pizza is. Pong. Pong. Press. Press. No idea. Puppy one. Puppy one. Reaction. Reader. Reader? I don't know what half these are. Simon. Simon, that's a pretty self-explanatory one. Kind of a Simon Says sort of deal. Skunk. I don't know what that is either. Spanker. So now when you install this, I'm guessing <laughs> this is some kind of weird adult game. When you install the games, not only did you make a lot of accessible games, but the, a few of them, I remember, like I think it was the Concentration one, they had a regular one... And then they had also like an adult themed one where instead of like regular words or regular items, they would have like adult things, you know, that you would try to match together. And it was just, you know, kind of quirky. Um, but you can, when you do the installer for this kitchen sink thing, you can choose if you just want the core games or if you want to add, you know, everything, including the adult themed content, which I just threw everything in there just because pff, whatever, why not? Star Mule. Star Mule. Stripper. Strip War? I don't even know what that is. I'm almost curious. TJS. <laughs> TJS, no idea. Test. Some test thing. Trivia. Now that I did play a little bit. We're going to go into... That was one of the ones that, we're, that we will go into. Trucker. Trucker. That's the one I mentioned earlier. Waver. Waver? I have no idea. Yahtzee. Yahtzee's pretty fun. And that's a game that people are really hooked on in Dice World, World on the iOS thing I showed you a while back. Exit. And Exit. So there's a ton of games here for free. <clears throat> you know, like I said, you've got a little bit of you got a little bit of dice games, a little bit of casino, a little bit of board games, some kind of arcadey style like Homer and a Harley. Um, a lot of games that I don't even there's sports games. There's games that I don't even know what the heck. Um, that I don't even know what the heck they are. So. You know, let's start with uh, the classic. Let's go with Trucker. Yahtzee, Waver, Trucker. Because this is one I remember playing, and uh, this is, like I said, a classic. Now, this one they uh, they updated, too. You, I remember when I originally played this, it would just be this little tune with the PC speaker. And I hope this next section doesn't get me a copyright infringement. If I do, it's um, if, if it does, I'm going to be pissed. But... On the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again Trucker, version 3, by Jim Kitchen. Would you like to read the instructions? Yes. Now, I did pop into this very briefly before recording this just because I wanted to check it out and make sure everything worked right, <clears throat> and I did speed up the speech a little bit. So, in all of Jim's games, basically, you can hit the control key, and it will allow you to adjust the speech setting. So, you hit the up and down arrow, and then you adjust the speed, and then you hit enter, and boom, your game, you know, your speed for the voice is set. So, I have it a little bit faster here. Um, I think if I hit F1, it'll retell me what I'm supposed to do. Would you like to read the instructions? Yes. Um, there's a lot of instructions. Well, I can. I guess I can start reading them. Let, let's just so you can kind of hear what it is. Let's just 
start reading them. Why? Trucker instructions. Trucker is a program which simulates the problems facing a long haul truck driver. Ideally, you can make a good living falling freight coast to coast without exceeding the legal load limit. If all goes well, you can obey speed limits and stop each night for eight hours sleep and still make the time schedule. On the good trip, you will be able to earn well over dollar one zero 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 zero. However, even the best drivers run into occasional streets of bad luck and may barely break even. Bad weather, road conditions, or a flat tire can place you behind schedule and eat up your profits. You may try to increase your profits by skipping on sleep, driving fast, or carrying an overweight load. However, pushing too hard raises the risk of a traffic accident, and you will be fined if you are caught breaking the law. Your truck. You are driving an 18-wheel tractor trailer combination that can hold 50, 000, 000 pounds of cargo, 10, 000, 000 pounds more than the legal limit. You are buying your truck through a bank. All right. So. Yes. No. What are we doing? Would you like to read the instructions? Yes. No, I wouldn't. So I, it, it, it'll go on and on for a little while. Basically, you are going from, was it L.A. to New York, and you have to choose, like, what kind of cargo you want. Um, you can do the legal limit, or you can go a little bit overboard and hope you don't get caught. Um, there are weather conditions, and you, you, you play it kind of like an hour-by-hour hour basis, like... It gives you some some information like how you're feeling, your ga your gas gauge, um, that kind of thing. So let's say no. Ed, would you like to read the special key instructions? Yes. Yes. Let's read the special key instructions so you guys get an idea. Why? Special key instructions. F1 repeat current prompt. F2 repeat current information. F3 repeat fuel gauge. F4 adjust volume. F5 repeat special key instructions. F12 change voice. Control key change rate of speech. Would you like to read the special key instructions? Yes. So there you go. You can uh, you get a few keys there. That's why I knew that F1 was to kind of repeat the current prompt. <clears throat> So I knew where we were. And the control key, again, uh, you can adjust here. You know what I will do just for you guys? Adjust the speed rate, three. I'll knock it down to three. Would you like to read the special key instructions? It's a little slower. Yes. I mean, I can perfectly understand it at four, but um, I know, you know, we're, I'm showing this to a bunch of people who, you know, who may not be able to understand the speech that fast. So let's say no. And day Monday, time, 8 a.m. You are at the Los Angeles Trucking Terminal. Three types of cargo are available. One oranges, highest profit if they don't spoil. Two freight forwarding, penalty for late delivery. Three U.S. mail, lowest rate, but no hurry to arrive. The cargo is due in New York by 4 p.m. on Thursday. Which type of cargo do you want? One oranges. So, there you get a little bit of information. Oranges are highest profit, but not, o not only the what I remember about this game is you actually are driving a, refri ref bleh, a refrigerated truck in that case, and when you stop to sleep, you actually have to keep it running because you actually have to keep um, your oranges cold. So you have to maybe get gas when you pull into a rest stop, and then you have to get gas when you leave a lot of times because you ate up a lot of gas uh, keeping your refrigeration running. So... Too great. I can do freight. Free U.S. mail. I love how U.S. mail just, yeah, no, it doesn't matter when it gets there. Yeah, people will get their mail whenever. Like, yeah, there's no priority. Whatever. <laughs> we'll just do mail for now. How many pounds will you carry? 40. Zero, zero, zero is the legal limit. So let's say 40. Four. One. one. Zero, 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 zero. You have chosen to carry 41,000 pounds of U.S. mail. Is this correct? Yes. Sure. Why? Which truck do you wish to drive? Freight liner. International. Kenworth. Mac. Peterbilt. I don't know if any of these have any bearing on like freight liner, international. Um, Kenworth, Mac. We'll do have a Mac truck. Why not? They are loading your truck now. Oh, that's new. I haven't heard them with sound effects before. Interesting. Day Monday. Time nine a.m. You paid dollar one hundred ninety zero zero for a nearly full tank of diesel fuel. Two of your tires are worn. Do you want replacements? Yes. Sure, why not? Why? A new tire costs dollar two hundred zero zero. A retread costs dollar one hundred zero zero. Which type do you want? New. Let's do a new because it's gonna, probably going to bite us later. And of course, we're not going to play this through this whole thing. But see, these are the choices that you have to make before you set out. So How many? We'll say... One. Two. <laughs> You may choose the northern, middle, or southern route. Which route do you choose? Northern, middle, southern. Now, they don't... I don't know if there's a way northern, to get... middle, northern. From what... Now, they don't give descriptions here, but I remember in the other game, there used to be ways to... Um, they would tell you, like, the northern one... I think the middle route is the shortest... Um, I don't remember, I know the northern one you have more of a chance of hitting, like, snowstorms and stuff, so you, but maybe it's shortest that way, I don't remember, and then middle is okay, southern is longer, but there's not as much cops, I think? Middle. I wish that, yeah, northern. I don't know, let's just, I middle. don't know, let's just southern. say, I don't middle. know, let's say middle. Yeah, when I played this before, it did not have all these sound effects. It's kind of cool that they've added that. Yeah, nice little 
little touches here. Cruising on Dash 15 in California. You are feeling rested and rearing to go. Current weather. Clear and drive. How fast do you wish to go? So 55 is the speed limit. We'll just go 55 right now. Five. five. Oh, wait, what? Um, Day Monday. Time. 10 a.m. Approximate fuel 176. Speed 55. Odometer 55. Miles to go. 2795. Cruising on I-15 in California. You are feeling fine. Current weather. Clear and drive. How fast do you wish to go? So there's not really a lot of choices yet. So, oh, let's be a little brave here. Six, zero. We'll go 60. Day Monday, time, 11 a.m., <laughs> approximate fuel 159, speed 60, odometer 115, miles to go, 2735, you have just passed Barstow, cruising on I-40 in California, you are feeling fine, current weather, clear and dry, how fast do you wish to go? 5, 7, okay. day Monday, time, 12 noon, approximate fuel 151, speed 57, odometer 172, miles to go, 2678, cruising on I-40 in California, you are feeling fine. Current weather, clear and dry, truck stop ahead. Do you want to stop? Yes. So here, this is what I was waiting for. So occasionally you'll get two truck stops. And let's stop in here just so you can see one, because like I said, we're not gonna play this for too much longer. Why? Fuel costs 95 cents per gallon. How many gallons do you want? Good lord, you can tell this was made like way back in the day 95 cents a gallon. Yeah, not so much. Oh crap, you know what? I have no idea how much fuel I have. Um, diesel fuel costs 95 cents per gallon. How many gallons do you want? I don't know. Day Monday, time 12 noon, approximate fuel 151. Speed 57, odometer, All 172, right, so I think 200 miles to go, is my 26, max. Cruising on I-40 in California, you are feeling fine. Current weather, Shut clear up. and dry, truck stop ahead. Do you want to stop? Diesel fuel costs, okay. per gallon, how many gallons do you want? Diesel fuel costs, per gallon, diesel fuel costs, 95 cents, per gallon, how many gallons do you want? So, let's just say 45. Four, five. <laughs> Oh, that's a gas noise. Hey, I was wondering about that. $42.75. So far, you have spent $632.75. Do you want to get some sleep? Yes. No. And day Monday. Time, 1 p.m. And you can run out of gas. You can get busted by the cops. And I think if you get pulled over three times, they take your license away. How fast do you wish to go? Uh, let's go 57 Five, again. Seven. Day Monday, time, 2 p.m. Approximate fuel 174, speed 57, odometer 229, miles to go, 2621. You have just passed needles. Time zone changes, set clock ahead one hour. Day Monday, time, 3 p.m. Cruising on I-40 in California. You are feeling fine. Current weather, clear and dry. How fast do you wish to go? So you'll have different weather effects. Uh, you know, you'll have like rainy weather, snowy, icy weather. Um, you have different, you know, you're, you're feeling fine, you're feeling bored, you're feeling tired. Um, and those will affect like, you know, the chances of you crashing or, you know, something happening. So we're gonna stop there, but that just gives you an idea. It's a pretty straightforward game, but- uh, Exit game, yes. Yes, let's exit the game. Why? Thank you for playing Trevor by Jim Kitchen. Welcome to Kitchen. All right, games. so now we're back at the main Use menu. Use the up and down arrow keys or press um, the first letter of the game. Then press enter to we'll play the game. We'll go into maybe, I don't know, Exit. two or three more of these. Um, awesome. Baseball. Batting. Oh, yeah, we were going to try football. Battleship. Ra Rain. Casino. Concoupled. Dungeon. Football. I think, yeah, I can do a first letter navigation, too, I think. So let's do football. That must be a college Welcome ball. Welcome to Jim's NFL Football. Oh, NFL. Version 4. Do you wish to use eloquence U.S. English for the announcer? Yes. Yes. Do you wish to use eloquence U.S. English for your quarterback? Yes. Um, no. Do you wish to use eloquence U.K. English for your... No. Do you wish to use... 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 Do you wish to use Microsoft David Desktop for your quarterback? Sure, we'll be yes. David will be our quarterback. Do you wish to use Eloquence US English for your opponent's quarterback? 
Yes. Yes, because just to save time. Do you wish to use Eloquence US English for your punter? Yes. Okay, so you can actually change... That's interesting. So if you have a whole bunch of TTS voices on your computer, you can kind of give them a little character. Each little, uh, each major uh, player will have a different voice. That's kind of neat. Do you wish to use Eloquence US English for your opponent's punter? Sure. Yeah, enter the name of your coach. All right. Um... <laughs> J-O-S-S we'll -S is Jones, correct for the name of your coach? Yes. Sure, why, why not? Jones, choose your team. Bengals. No. Browns, Bengals, Saints, Panthers, Falcon, Buccaneers, Sea Rams, 40, Cardinal, Redskins, Giant, Eagles, Cowboy, Vikings. Vikings. Jones, your team is the Vikings. Is this correct? Yes. Being right. Why? This is week one of Jim's NFL football. Today's game is Vikings 0 and 0 versus the Broncos 0 and 0. All right. Jones select. 1. Play game. 2. See schedule. 3. See standings. 4. Exit game. 1. Play game. All right, let's start a game. I have no idea how this game is played anymore, so let's just find out what happens. Jones enter the name of your quarterback or press enter. All right. B R I D G E D A E R is Bridgewater. Correct for the name of your quarterback. Yep. Yes. Why? Enter the name of the Broncos quarterback or press enter. Uh, I should know who the Broncos quarterback is, but um, um, I just feel stupid. Uh, but we're just gonna say I don't know. S I I N I T H is Smith. We're just gonna Smith. Just Correct to keep for the name here. of the Broncos quarterback. Sure, yes. why not? Why? Jones, which do you call for the coin toss? Heads. Ah, uh, sure. Here's the coin toss. The coin comes up heads. Sweet. Jones, which do you wish to do? Receive. Ah, uh, let's kick off. Kick off. So I'm just using my up and down arrow to do, to choose. We're gonna kick because we'll get it in the second half. Then. Jerwood and Godfrey are back deep to receive the kick off. Rossum is ready to kick off. No, I don't think the I can kick off is up and is headed for the end zone. Jerwood catches the ball two yards deep in the end zone. He starts right then changes direction and heads up the left side line. Jerwood is at the 5. The 10. The 15. Stop him! The 20. There we go. He is tackled by Slade and Kindness. Huh. There is a gain of 20 yards on the play. It's my ball on my 20-yard line. It's first down and 10 yards to go. Jones, select the play for your defense. One, goal line. So now I choose my defensive play. Now one thing, let me see if I hit F2, I think it is. Here's the instant gray play. Jerwood and Godfrey no, are back deep that. to receive the two. Short run. The score is tight zero all. How do I do that? Jones, I'm select to the play three, two. Me. 13 minutes, 54 seconds remaining in the first uh. quarter. Joe, it's my ball on my 20-yard line. It's first There's a way to adjust the volume, because I'd like to change the, the volume of the defense. actual sound effects Ooh, so I can hear the run. TTS better. Three, long run. Uh, let's defend against the long run. The Broncos break the other. Smith is up to the line. Cut one. Cut. 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 Smith takes the ball. Smith is slammed to the ground by God. There is a loss of three yards on the play. Yeah, it's my talking. ball on my 17-yard line. It's second down and 13 yards to go. Jones, select the play for your defense. Ooh, short run, 3-4. Blitz. Uh, yeah, let's blitz him. Why not? The Broncos break the battle. Smith parts out the snap count. But one. Goal 19. Yeah, it's kind of hard to hear the blitz. Smith gets the ball from center. Phillips and Thompson smuggle Smith. There is a loss of 8 yards on the field. Nice! Play. It's my ball on my 9 yard line. Hell it's yeah! It's third down and 21 yards to go. Jones select nice. the play for your All defense. Right. 1. Goal line. It's gonna be a Two, pass. 3, 4. Blitz. 5. Short pass. 6. Long pass. Um. Are they gonna try to long pass or are they gonna go short underneath? 5. Let's say they're gonna short go underneath. Pass. Because, I don't know, they're... Well, no, Six. let's go long. long pass. The Broncos break the battle. Smith is in the shotgun. Cut one. 
XT20. Flight 24. Up. Up. I. Smith takes the ball from center. He steps back to pass. Smith gets the pass off. And Gatto makes a one-handed pass. There is a gain of 7 yards on the play. Uh -huh. It's my ball Third on the 16-yard line. Fourth it's 4th down, down and 14 yards to go. Nice. Don't select the play for your defense. 1. Goal line. 2. Short run 3. Long run 4. Blitz 5. Short pass 6. Long 7. Save game. 1. Goal line. 2. Short run. 1. 7. Save so game. So I can save the game. Uh... 1. Wallach and Kaufman are back deep to receive the punt. Nash okay. is ready to take the snap and kick the punt. But run. Up. Now we're here our uh, quarterback. Nash takes the long <laughs> snap. He gets the kick off. It's a huge kick. It travels 33 yards in the air. The ball hits and bounces out of bounds. Okay, where do I get it? It's your ball on my 49-yard line. Okay, Look good field the position. Look the are starting up another wave. It's first down and 10 hmm. yards to go. Jones, select the play for All your right. offense. Two, and run. We are gonna... One, line plunge. Two, three, screen pass. Four, short pass. Let's do a short pass so we we'll get Teddy some uh, experience here. The Vikings break the run. Did you hear Homer in there? <laughs> snap down. Nice. Yeah, you can barely hear the voices. Bridgewater gets the snap. He sets and is forced out of the pocket. Bridgewater throws an end over end wobble. And the Pico makes a leaping pass. There is a gain of one yard on the play. Aww. It's your ball on my 48 yard All line. Right. It's so second down we and nine yards to go. Jones select the play for your offense. Two, and run. Three, three, pass. Do. Four, short pass. Five, long pass. Six. Field goal, 7, punt, 8, save game, 1, line plunge, 2, and run, 1, line plunge, do a line the lightning straight the other, with the water in the side. shotgun. Okay. With the water at the snap from center, he pitches the ball to Kopner. Kopner runs off tackle and is brought down by Steele. There is no gain on the play. Oh man, I'm love stuffed. to poke that cheerleaders in box. It's your ball on my 48-yard line. Okay. It's third down and nine yards to go. First down. Come Jones on. select the two and run. Uh, Three. Screen pass. Let's do a screen, shall we? The Vikings break the huddle. Bridgewater is in the shotgun. Bridgewater takes the snap from center. He sets up in the pocket. Bridgewater throws a perfect spiral. Oh yeah. And Stutz catches the ball. There is a gain of seven yards on the Ooh, play. Yeah. It's your ball on my 41-yard oh, line. Man. It's fourth down and two yards to go. Jones select the play for your offense. And let's see if our field goal kicker is any good. It's going to be a long field goal, but let's see if he does. I'm just going to, because we're going to end it here. Two. And run for uh, five. But long pass. Let's just six. do a field goal. Crazy something here. Bryson is in for the field goal attempt. Bryson will hold. A one. A two. A three. A. 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 Ball is short. Damn. Yeah, I figured it would. But anyway, it's that's mine football. On my 41-yard line. Hit. What would you do with a brain if you had one? It's first down and 10 okay. yards to go. Jones, select the play for your defense. One. What the hell? Do you wish to quit and concede this game? No. Yes. No. Yes. yes. Games of week number one. Broncos over the Vikings by the oh, score of so 1 to 0. That's not nice. Jets over the Colts by the score of standing yeah, okay, after week you. number 1. Don't care. Thank you for playing NFL Football version 4 by Jim Kitchen.
Welcome to Kachensing Games. All right, so there's a little bit of football. So a lot of these, like I said, I'm, I think I'm going to end it up with, um, like, we could go through tons of these. And like I said, since this is free, you guys can go get this, you know, this huge pack of free games and play any of these on your own. It's nice because it's, you know, you don't have to install each one of these before. I think they used to have, like, individual installers and things like that but no it's just one really nice uh, one install file and um, you get all these games in there um, you know if you have some sappy 5 TTS voices that you like um, you can use those with this game and they will work fine I am using this under Windows 10 so even that is compatible huzzah um, let's go down and let's end this with a little bit of trivia because I remember, <clears throat> I remember that there were, uh, a couple, there, there's a whole bunch of, and, and remember some of these games, uh, have actual different versions of them. So if I go into trivia, for instance, there's a whole bunch of trivia topics. Let's go. Trivia. Trivia. Trivia version two by Jim Kitchen. Select start game. All right, so read special key instructions. Read special key instructions. Adjust volume. Adjust rate of speech. Change voice. Read log file. View log file and note exit. Start game. Let's start a game. Choose the trivia game that you wish to play. Use the up and down arrow keys or press the first letter of the trivia game and then press the enter key. Exit. So I'm just going to show you how many variations of trivia. Now this is another thing where I think people could actually make their own trivia packs, and I never did, but I, I, I one at one time I thought about it. I thought about making like a gaming one. Uh, because that's just, or some kind of a technology one, because I'm a nerd, and that's just what I know. <laughs> but, uh, amusement rides. Amusement rides. Arthurian legends. Astronaut. Odyssey Battle Trivia. I don't know what that... Auto, auto what, racing. Auto racing. I would, I would not have a clue. Basketball. Not a clue. Beatles. Not a clue. Beavis really. and Butthead. I might do kind of okay. Bible. Mm, I don't know how good I'd do on that one either. Birds. Not a clue. Canes and Cane Travel. I'd do okay on that, I think. Chess. Christy. No idea. Classic commercials. Classic commercials, that could be kind of fun. Coke. Coke. Computer. Computer, that'd be kind of interesting to do. Famous quotes. Flintstones. Ah, probably fun facts. Be good at that. Fun games. facts. Games, I don't know if that means like board games or video games or whatever, but yeah, I don't know. General knowledge. General trivia dash one. General trivia dash two. General trivia dash three. General trivia dash four. Geo world. Good news. Harry Potter two. Harry Potter. Ah, here's one. I remember the first. They didn't have a Harry, Harry Potter, Potter 2 when I played this last. But I might go into one of the Harry Potter ones, and we'll wrap it up. We'll see how much I actually remember about the Harry Potter series. Harry Potter. Languages. Lord of the Rings. Macbeth. <laughs> music. Music Tilda 2. Oldies. Pink Floyd. Pop music. Presidents. Sports. Star Trek movies. Star Trek Dash 1. Star Wars. Star Trek 9. Star Trek. Star Trek Voyager. States and Capitals. Terminator series. True or False. World Capitals. World Series. Exit. So, quite a few different uh, games in there. So, you know what? Hey, Harry Potter 2. Um, since I've never seen Harry Potter 2, let's uh, do Harry Potter 2. Let's see how little I know about, uh, remember about Harry Potter. Harry Potter Trivia 2, covering all seven books. Expanded version Ooh. by Alan Paganelli. Is this the game that you wish to play? Yes. Yeah. Why? Harry Potter Trivia 2, covering all seven books. Expanded version by Alan Paganelli. Question. Albus Dumbledore's father was convicted of a savage and well-publicized attack upon three young muggles. Albus never attempted to deny that. One, true, two, false. Oh boy. Uh, um, 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 uh, One, two. Sure? Yes. Yeah. That's correct. The answer is true. Press any key to continue. E to exit or rest to save game. All right. Question. There are seven players on the Quidditch team. One, true, two, false. True. One. Yes. That is correct. The answer is true. Press any key to continue. E to exit or rest to save game. Two. Question. Who does not belong in this list? One, Bill. Two, Charlie. Three, Percy. Four, Fred. Five, George. Six, Ron. Seven, Ginny. Eight, Harry. Nine, all of these. Um, I'm going to say Harry. Nine, all of the eight, Harry. They're all together, but I'm gonna. I'm guessing that they're talking about siblings. Yes, that is correct. The answer is Harry. Harry does not belong in this list. The children belong to Mr. and Mrs. Weasley. Exactly. Harry's last name is Potter. Press any yep. key to continue. That's Either what I thought they the were going game. for. Question. After blowing up his Aunt March, Harry escaped the Dursley house and was picked up by the night bus. He took it to London where he ran into the Minister of Magic who insisted Harry stay at the Leaky Cauldron while he waited for his friends. In what room did Harry stay? 1. Room 7. 2. Room 8. 3. Oh. Room 9. 4. Room 10. 5. Room 11. 6. Room 12. Oh 7. Boy. Room 13. 8. Uh, room 14. I have 9. no idea. Um... 
That one I truly have no idea. Um, one, room seven, two, room eight. Let's say... Three, room nine. Uh, it's either... I want to say either eight or nine? Sorry, no. Damn. The answer is room 11. Press oh. any key to continue. Either exit or rest to save game. Right. one wrong. Question. How do the members of the Order of the Phoenix communicate with each other so that their messages cannot be intercepted? One, they use enchanted coins like Harry did to let the members of the DA know when the next meeting would be. Two, all the Order of the Phoenix members have magic communications mirrors like the one Sirius gave Harry before his death. Three, they operate to the Order headquarters at number 12 Primal Place and leave their message. Four, each Order of the Phoenix member has a magic ring that only Order members have. Dumbledore created them so that only Order members can use them. Five, none of these. Well... One, they use enchanted coins like Harry did to let the members of the DA know when the next meeting would be. No. Two, all the Order of the Phoenix members have magic communications mirrors like the one Syria 3. They operate to the Order headquarters at I'm number 12 Primal Place and leave... Oh. Sorry. Oh. No. What would you do with a brain if you had one? The answer is none of these. <laughs> members of the Order use their patronesses to communicate with each other. They are the only wizards who know how to use their spirit oh, guardians in this way, and they okay. have been to do so by Dumbledore. He invented this method of communication. The patronus is an immensely efficient messenger for several yeah, reasons. It is an anti-dark okay. device, which makes it highly resilient to interference that. from dark wizards. It is not hindered by physical barriers. Each patronus is unique and distinctive, so that there is never any other wish... order member ascended. Nobody else can conjure another person's patronus, so there is no danger of false messages being passed between order members. Oh, Nothing conspicuous needs to be carried by the order member to create a patronus. And, as many of you have deduced, Dumbledore's patronus is indeed a phoenix. This answer came from JK herself when she says the information is in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Press any key to continue. Key to exit or the save game. I like the amount of detail they give you, like, especially if you get it wrong. It's like, oh, okay, we'll give you some interesting facts, and, uh, yeah, so this is really cool. I, I can't remember how many questions are, but we're just gonna... I'm gonna try to finish this game, because I'm kind of curious how well I do. Question. Who is the ghost of Gryffindor House? 1. Nearly Headless Nick. 2. The Bloody Baron. 3. The 1. Nearly Headless Nick. Yes. Boom. That is correct. The answer is Nearly Headless Nick. Press any key to continue. Right. Eat question. Dudley is Harry's brother. One. Fact. Two. Crap. Fact or crap. <laughs> That's a nice, true or false alternative. Dudley is Harry's brother. One. Fact. Sorry. No. Wait, what? The answer is crap. Press any key to continue. Either exit or rest to save game. What the hell? I thought it was his Harry's Press brother. Press any key what? to continue. Either exit or rest to save game. Dudley is Harry. Oh! No, he's not his brother. He's a... God dang it. He's his cousin. Ah, oh, for God's sake. I I just instinctively, oh yeah, they're under the same house. No, they're not. Okay, that was totally my bad. I'm an idiot. Question. First years arrive at Hogwarts Castle by what means? One, magic carpets. Two, broomsticks. Three, flu powder. Four, port key. Five, night bus. Six, the Hogwarts Express. Seven, small boats. Eight, seven, small boats. Yep. Yes, that is correct. The answer is small boats. First years oh, are always taken to the I castle should've. by Hagrid across the lake in small boats. No more than four to a boat. Press any key to continue. Either I should have got the game. last one. That was really stupid. I just kind of went, you know, going really fast and, yeah, duh. Question. Leaving King's Cross Station in London, what direction does the Hogwarts Express head to get to the school? One, north. Two, northeast. Three, east. Oh. Four, southeast. Five, south. Six, southwest. Seven, west. Eight, You know, west. that's Nine, a mighty good... I don't know. One, north. Two, northeast. I'm going to say northeast. Sorry. Oh. No. The answer is north. Press any key to continue. Damn it, that Either was, exit or rest that the was game. Honestly, okay. Eh, we're not doing too great. We're not as good as I thought I would be, actually. Question. In book one, as a Christmas present, Harry received an invisibility cloak. A note was pinned to the cloak which read, Your father left this in my possession before he died. By the time it was returned to you, use it well. A very Merry Christmas to you who was it who sent it to Harry. One, Professor McGonagall. Don't Two, don't Professor don't. Flitwick. Three, Professor Sprout. Four, Professor Snape. Five, Professor Quirrell. Six, Professor Dumbledore. Sep six, Professor Dumbledore. Yes, that is correct. The answer is, Professor Dumbledore, press any key to continue. Okay. Either that question, Lorcan Deep 1964, present heart drop singer, heart vampire, 19 weeks at number one with hit song next to you. Is this true or a load of bull? Hint, get this number one right and you can add another point to your win column. One, two, two, one, true, two, what a load of bull. I'm gonna say no. Sorry, oh. no, the answer is, true, press any key to continue. Either huh. exit the rest the save game. Okay, well, I have no idea where that came That one I wish they would have given me a little more information. I don't remember that at all. Question. In the opening scenes of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Lord Voldemort and his Death Eaters discuss how they are going to get their hands on Harry Potter. The captured Hogwarts teacher hangs upside down slowly revolving around and around magically suspended over a drawing room table in the Malfoy's home called Malfoy Manor. An anger and rage Voldemort murders the hapless Hogwarts teacher with the killing curse as everyone below watches. Who was that teacher? 1. Professor Snape. 2. Professor Dumbledore. 3. Professor Hagrid. 4. Professor McGonagall. 5. Professor Flitwick. 6. Professor Sprout. 7. Professor Binns. 8. Professor Burbage. 9. None of these. 8. Professor Burbage. Yeah. Charity. Yes, that is correct. The answer is Professor Burbage. Professor Charity Burbage taught Muggle studies uh -huh. at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Press any key to continue. Either exit or rest to save question. Hagrid said he always wished he owned a dragon as a boy. One, true, two, false, one, true. True. Yes, that is correct. The answer is true. Press any key to continue. Okay. Question. What house is Professor McGonagall the head of? One, Gryffindor. Two, Hubble. Three, one, Gryffindor. Boom. Yes, that is correct. The answer is Gryffindor. 
Question. The Deathly Hallows, who was appointed as the headmaster of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. One. Professor Deathly Snape. Ha- Two. Prof- okay. One. Professor Snape. Deathly Hallows. That would have been... Nine. None of these. One. Professor Snape. Snape. Yes. That is correct. Woohoo! The answer is <laughs> Professor Snape. <laughs> Press any key to continue. Question. In this list, who might be said to have lost his head? One. Nearly headless Snape. Two. The Bloody Baron. Three. The Fat Friar. Four. Peas. Five. Moaning Myrtle. Six. The Wailing Widow. Seven. Sir Patrick. Eight. The Grey Lady. Nine. None of these. Eight. The Grey Lady. Seven. Sir Patrick. Patrick. Yes. That is correct. The answer is Sir Patrick. Sir Patrick, of course, is the head of the Headless Hunt. Press any key to continue. Now, I can Either do the what I'm doing game. here is sometimes I use the number keys, and sometimes if I'm right there, I just will use the up and down arrows. Hello again. This is BGFH. I am back for um, just a couple seconds here. Um, what happened was, as I was, I was in the middle of that Harry Potter trivia, and occasionally my headset still does this weird thing. Remember when I reviewed the PX22s, um, you know, I said that periodically it would switch the sound from like the full setup to, you know, the basic USB um, setup, and you had to go in and, you know, click the little radio button to switch it back. Uh, it doesn't do that anymore, but what it does do on occasion is it will revert to the basic sound and then it'll immediately switch back. I don't know what causes it. It used to do it in Windows 7 occasionally and it still does it in Windows 10 occasionally. And so what happened was right in the middle of doing that, uh, the trivia game there, uh, that's, that just so happened to, to uh, happen and the game actually froze up. So um, that Typically won't happen. Um, the game is fine, but it was just kind of an, a glitch on my end there. So unfortunately, we won't get to see how well I actually do. I forget how many questions are in each one of those trivia things. Um, but uh, I, you know, I didn't do as good as I thought I would, but I did okay. Um, but that should at least give you a good look at the kitchen sink collection of accessible PC games. Um, you know, it, it, it stinks that he, uh, you know, that he passed away a couple of weeks ago. You know, uh, he was a huge member of the blindness community. He pumped out a lot of cool games for people, um, adapted, you know, it, it was cool because you, you, he adapted like board games and, you know, card games and, you know, all, all different types of stuff, um, for people to play and they were free, you know, they were released for free. So um, this collection, like I said, I forget how many are in it. It's like 30 something or 40 something games. And then, like I said, some of them, you know, you have a whole bunch of different areas. So like the golf game will have a whole bunch of courses. Uh, the trivia game has all of those different categories. So it's a lot of these games that I don't even know what they are, you know, they, they, they may have some variances in them too. So there's a lot of content here. Um, so this collection is freely available. Um, I'll try to remember to put the link in the description below, or like I said, just do a search for, um, I, I think they call it the kitchen sink collection or kitchen, kitchen sink mega pack or something. I saw it mentioned on Twitter about a week or two ago, um, around the time that Jim passed, uh, passed away. But, um, yeah, it's a really cool collection of games, and uh, this should keep you busy for quite some time uh, if you are looking for some, uh, just a lot of variety of uh, some free accessible games for your Windows PC. Um, And like I said, it is compatible up through the modern operating systems. I am playing this on Windows 10, and except for my weird headset crashing thing there, uh, it works great. So, yeah, that is uh, the kitchen sink collection of accessible PC games. Um, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Tell other people and keep the keep this thing going. Keep it growing. Uh, like I said, glad to see that uh, we're getting more views and a little more subscriptions here. Uh, pretty cool to watch. So um, follow me on Twitter at BGFH79 as well. Uh, BGFH79. Um, I, I cover, you know, I post up when I update my channel, I post uh, links there. I also do a lot of retweets and a lot of, um, a fair number of like my own personal posts about technology or this and that or random things here and there. So you never know what'll be there, but, uh, yeah, follow me there, like, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys again later.